listen up my fellow cult members. I have fucked up big time with The Last of Us 2 and I myself know it. So stop please, for God's sake, stop defending the game in the comments. And those who actually want to defend the game, please come up with valid arguments rather than targeting the uploader of the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So for those guys that are new and have no idea what's happening, then basically I uploaded a video titled How Neil Druckmann Killed The Last of Us Franchise, in which I gave valid points and put forward my opinion. And as usual, I got both positive and negative comments. However, the negative comments were not just constructive criticism, but they were more like personal attacks. So in this video, I will be taking some of those comments and responding to them. By the way, this is going to be my fourth and last video of this Neil Druckmann saga. And after this, I'm going to be focusing on uploading more gaming related documentaries. So now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first comment is from Rage Harder Than Relax. And apparently he's accusing me for calling out Neil Druckmann for being a gay. Hold on, hold on. Not once in my entire video did I mention the LGBT point and criticize the game on the basis of it. I have nothing against gay people and I have no issues with Neil Druckmann being a gay as long as he direct good games. I am the same guy who adored him for The Last of Us 1. And as a person who paid to play the game, I have all right to voice my opinion and I simply don't like it. As far as did I targeted Neil Druckmann for being a gay is concerned, let's ask the main man himself. Hey, listen here, you punk. Stop smoking that cheap shit of yours and watch the video with open eyes and ears. Not once in the entire video did Hazik targeted me for being a gay and hated the game because of that. By the way, man, I searched it up and there's no article or piece of information on the internet that proves that Neil Druckmann is a gay. What even is your source? Is it trust me, bro? There is surely something wrong with these Last of Us 2 fans. They just can't listen. These blind fans don't even watch the video complete and just start hating. Not only this guy, but there are also a lot others like him that are hating me for something that I didn't even said. Alright so, now I will be replying to a lot of collective comments at once. During my video, I mentioned that the ending of Last of Us 2 didn't make sense. And Ellie shouldn't have spared Abby's life. And a lot of people came after me saying that I don't have the brains to understand the ending. According to them, the story tried to convey that revenge is bad. If that was the actual theme of the story, then why did Ellie kill entire friend group of Abby in the name of revenge? If revenge was actually that bad, then Abby shouldn't have killed Joel in the first place. This game teaches me that if someone blows up my house, then I should blow up the houses of all friends of that individual apart from the individual who was responsible for blowing up my house. The only reason why Abby is still alive is because Neil Druckmann wants her for part 3. Wait! Let me go! You just come after her. Whoa. Good Neil Druckmann chose the artistic route over the money route and didn't milk the franchise. Wait a minute. Did you really say that Neil Druckmann took the artistic route over the money route? You gotta be kidding me, man. And how ironic. He says that Neil haven't milked the franchise like Resident Evil. Bro, I literally made a video on that. Go watch that first. <laughs> This guy Neil, he first made a remaster out of Last of Us 1, then made a remake of it which no one asked for and now have released an unnecessary remastered version of Last of Us 2. If you don't call this milking then I feel sorry for you bro. And by the way, every Resident Evil game have a different storyline. They don't continue the game from where the previous game left off and I don't consider unique content as milking. So yeah guys, that's all from the video. Now I have started to lose my brain cells. There's still a lot of stupid comments out there, but I can't reply to all of them. And this is gonna be my last video on this Neil Druckmann saga. The next video is gonna be most probably about Marvel Spider-Man 2. So if you like gaming and you have enjoyed my content, then make sure to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, peace out.